proudly covering the Northwest Arkansas community. This is KNWA News at 6. The Arkansas National Guard is called in for the Trafalgar Road fire, also known as the Stump Dump. Good evening and thanks for joining us. I'm Kelly O'Neill. KNWA's Katie DeVilla was out at the Bella Vista site this morning with the latest. Katie? The Arkansas Department of Emergency Management announced this morning it has enlisted the Arkansas National Guard up to the stumped up to conduct ongoing air quality testing. Emergency Management says the 61st Civil Support Team is uniquely suited to perform this mission because all members are trained hazmat technicians and equipment experts. CST will collect data with equipment that sensors for specific hazards identified by the Arkansas Department of Health. Monitoring stations will be placed at the same locations where previous EPA monitoring is already at. Director of the Arkansas Department of Environmental Quality says ADEQ is dedicated to exploring resources to report the most accurate air quality data to the residents of Bella Vista. The 61st CST has state-of-the-art air monitoring equipment with real-time data collection capabilities. ADEQ is grateful to partner with the National Guard to deliver this important information. Emergency management tells us the National Guard will start conducting air quality testing on Tuesday. In Bella Vista, Katie DeVilla, KNWA, Northwest Arkansas News. All right, thank you, Katie. The Trafalgar Road fire became a public issue in July 2018, and it continues to heat up concerns from homeowners. Now, the Bella Vista mayor is speaking speaking out against the Arkansas Department of Environmental Quality. Officials from the ADEQ say they've been exploring more cost-effective ways to put out the fire and are considering several proposals. Donnelly Davis, a spokesperson for the ADEQ, says it speaks with the city regularly and provides weekly updates to the mayor, Peter Christie, and staff, as well as Benton County officials and residents. But Mayor Christie says they're still on different pages. I have never received a response. They call us when they want the gate opened or they want us to do something, but we're not part of the planning. It's very, very frustrating uh, for both all of us on city council, but in, in particular with the residents. Sure. And I live up there too. It's, yeah. We need to get the fire out, pure and simple. A Northwest Arkansas church is working to help those impacted by the fire by providing them with a place to stay during the day. The First United Methodist Church of Bella Vista will provide shelter for those who live nearby the fire site and are looking for a relief spot. The church parlor is open Monday through Thursday from 8 until 4.30 and then on Fridays from 8 until 12.30 in the afternoon. A local hotel has also helped, offered to help home, homeowners who live near the fire as well. The Courtyard Marriott in Bentonville is adjusting its rates to aid people who are looking to escape the smoke coming from the fire. The hotel is offering rooms for $59 every Thursday through Sunday until the fire is under control. All homeowners need to do is show proof of residency near the stump dump. And in Rogers today, local law enforcement officers teamed up with Walmart to provide children safety. The Benton County Sheriff's Office helped create fingerprints for kids of all ages to make sure they have a form of identification. The Rogers Police Department stepped up to help as well, performing car seat checkups for parents to ensure children's safety when traveling. There's no such thing as a 100% guarantee in life, and even if the seats are installed 100% perfect, even if you're in an accident, there's a chance that there could be injury. But studies show that when car seats are installed correctly, it greatly reduces the chances for injury. All of this comes as a part of Walmart's Baby Saving Week. February is American Health Heart Month, and Northwest Health is educating the community on how to reduce the risks for heart disease. Free heart check health fairs were offered by Northwest Health in Bentonville in Springdale this morning. In addition to free screenings, risk assessments, and seminars, people were also able to tour the two hospitals' cardiac catheterization labs. It's important to prevent it. It's important to know the risk factors so we can cut down the damage even if you have it. And I think to take care of your loved ones if they have heart disease. Heart disease continues to be the leading cause of death for both men and women in the United States. The Scott Family Amazium in Bentonville was also offering free health services today. The Children's Museum provided free dental health screenings for kids as part of their Toothapalooza event. Delta 
Delta Dental of Arkansas and Arkansas Children's Hospital partnered to not only clean teeth, but to send kids home with oral health supplies. Elizabeth Haskett, a representative from Delta Dental, says this is to promote going to the dentist as a positive experience. There was actually a kid who was really scared of going to the dentist, so I actually went through it with him, and by the end he was saying he couldn't wait to go to the dentist. The first 500 kids who received a screening today were awarded with free admission to the museum. In the River Valley, the University of Arkansas Fort Smith hosted a free tooth extraction day today. The Fort Smith Dental Association partnered with students, faculty, and administrators to make this happen. All patients needed to bring was a list of current medications they're taking. The president of the FSDA says one of the reasons they do this is because there's a critical need for an extraction day in our community. Well, coming up, pie bakers, it's your time to shine. How you can win a chance to show off your baking skills. Plus, the Hoop Hogs looking to get back on track after a small rough patch. Our Pig Trail Nation crew has he covered. Well, the winds leave overnight, but they'll stay a little breezy tomorrow. Will the sunshine stick around for Sunday as well? We'll take a look when we get back. Closed captioning is sponsored by Air Control. Your car traveling at 65 miles per hour can stop in about the length of a football field. But a fully loaded tractor trailer will take two football fields to stop. If you're in an accident with a big truck, call 1-800-CAR-WRECK. Get the experienced team. It's going to be on your side, by your side. Well, that's my ride. Whoa, that's your car? Yeah, it's pretty lit. Billy? Just drive, Mr. Johnson. The 2019 Toyota Camry. Right now, get $1,000 customer cash on a fun-to-drive new 2019 Camry. Hurry in today. Toyota, let's go places. Oh, would you look at that? So adorable. How did we get so lucky? Should we wake them? Nah, let's watch another one. Contour. Find YouTube Kids. Now get all your favorite apps right on Contour TV. So adorable. Contour from Cox. Drivers today face a lot of distractions, but a driver's main job is the responsibility to operate a vehicle safely. Eliminate distractions when you drive. But if you're hurt in an accident by another driver who didn't, then call us. We're going to be on your side, by your side. Monday. I'm so excited. Welcome to Team Legend. You're really cute. I think you're cute, John. You're adorable. I have clearly been outcuted. <laughs> <laughs> then it's the premiere of The Enemy Within. I want the names of the four agents who are following, or you'll never see your daughter again. She betrayed her country. I made a choice to save my daughter. Now she wants redemption. You can catch him, but you cannot do it without me. The premiere of The Enemy Within after the premiere of The Voice, Monday on NBC. Now, your weather authority forecast with meteorologist Melissa Hall. We started Saturday a lot like we finished the work week. It was overcast. It was looking like it was going to drizzle. We had some thunderstorms that moved through. This is 11 a.m. Still looking very dreary. But look at what happens. By noon, the sun is out in full effect, and it turned into a gorgeous afternoon. But we did have to deal with the wind, and now we're getting beautiful sunset. The clouds are starting to filter back in, but they won't last all night long. We didn't take in too much rain in northwest Arkansas. The biggest rain totals down in the River Valley were actually, this is vice versa from what we had yesterday. So Fort Smith, you took in a third of an inch. Northwest Arkansas, less than a tenth of an inch, but that system has moved out of here. And check out how strong it is. We were so fortunate to just get a wind advisory out of this and get that rain because there's tornadoes, and earlier there were several tornadoes lining the eastern part of Mississippi. Now there's one up in Tennessee, as you can see. And then this wraps all the way around into Kansas, where they have blizzard warnings. So we've got a blizzard warning in Kansas. We've got tornado warnings and tornado watches in Mississippi and Alabama and Tennessee. Here, though, we actually had a nice day. Temperatures since midnight, we woke up in the mid-40s, mid-40s. 
50s in Fayetteville when we woke up and head out the door this morning. That's where we should be for a daytime high this time of year. Right now, we're close to 60, and we got into the 60s across the area. But look at the cool air that's about to come our way. It's in the 20s in Dodge City. Now, we're not going to get that cold, but tomorrow, it'll be much cooler than today. The good news is, though, we're going to stay about average, and these winds, they'll die down some. These are current steady wind conditions, 20 miles an hour, 14 miles an hour, 25 miles an hour, and then you have the gust that you have to deal with, gusting 30 to 50 mile an hour. Here in our area, the highest gusts we saw were in the mid 40s over in the eastern or the western part of the area. Well, we have that dry line moving through, so fires will be a threat with this because of those winds and the drier conditions. But as I said, that cooler air is going to move through. Now, tomorrow won't be as windy, but look at this. We'll still have gusts in that 20 mile an hour range. So keep that in mind. In that wind direction, it's going to change. Today it was out of the southwest, so things were warm. Not tomorrow. It's going to be out of the northwest, so things will be a little bit cooler and feeling cooler. Tonight, as you head out to walk your fur baby, we'll still be in the 50s with that wind still blowing 20 miles an hour. The gusts will die down, like I said, but we'll wake up tomorrow morning with clear skies, below freezing for some of us, upper 20s, low 30s. That wind out of the northwest taking a little bite out of those temperatures by the afternoon. We'll be right around average for this time of year, so don't worry about that, even though we're not going to be as warm as today and you have that wind to deal with, we'll have plenty of sunshine and temperatures will feel nice. As you take a look at your seven-day forecast, well, even though tomorrow is going to be about mm, close to 10 degrees cooler, Kelly, this is where we should be for the last weekend of February. But we get a warming trend heading into the upcoming week and then a new cold front that might even bring a few flurries with it. It's still too far out to talk about, but we've got another spring-like start, winter in the middle, and actually, the first day of spring for us meteorologists is Friday, so right. who knows what's going to happen. <laughs> if only every day could have been like today. It was just perfect, but it was a little, like you said, very windy. It was. <laughs> us parents could legitimately tell our kids to go fly a kite. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much, Melissa. To celebrate the hit Broadway musical uh, Waitress coming to Fayetteville, KNWA has teamed up with the Wallen Arts Center to give local pie bakers a chance to shine with the Baked from the Heart Pie Contest. Amateur and professional bakers can enter online through March 1st. Three finalists will be chosen to showcase their pies on Good Day NWA. The winner gets four tickets to see Waitress and the chance to serve their pie at the show. For more information on how you can enter the contest, head over to our website. That's nwahomepage.com. An SEC Indoor Championships wrapping up today after several Razorbacks have won a title. Find out who after the break, plus men's basketball hosting Texas A&M tonight at the Bud. Mike Irwin has a breakdown of the matchup. That's next. Super savings. And your sales tax pay. Sale includes solid wood bedrooms for kids, guests, or a master bedroom. With five-piece suits, only $7.99. Come see us at Hank's Fine Furniture. Do you want another truck or a truck like no other? One that makes people say they put what in that truck? One that has capabilities you can't find in other trucks and ushers in a whole new age. The all-new Ram 1500, Motor Trends 2019 Truck of the Year. For deals like no other, come in now during Ram Truck Month. Or right now, get an average 16250 in total values on select 2019 Ram 1500 Classic models in dealer stock. Great prices and selection. Why, that can only be A to Z variety. Looking for that certain arrangement? You pick the colors and we'll do the rest. Find us on Facebook for daily and weekly discounts. A to Z variety in Fort Smith. Your one-stop shop. From groceries to furniture and everything in between. Are you the last one to take a shower in the morning? <gasps> no hot water? Never run out of hot water again. Steve's Plumbing, 479-631-8804, installs tankless water heaters. Mention this ad and receive $100 off installation. You don't get to be the most awarded SUV brand ever without the luxurious craftsmanship of Jeep Grand Cherokee, the legendary capability of Jeep Renegade, or the innovative technology of Jeep Compass. So it's no wonder Jeep Wrangler was named 2019 Motor Trend SUV of the Year. And that's why more people are joining the Jeep family than any other brand. Get $3,750 total cash allowance or well-qualified lessees of competitive vehicles. Get a low mileage lease on the 2019 Compass for $169 a month. Super saving.
saving. And your sales tax pay. With fill a top queen sets $2.99, memory foam queen sets $4.99, free adjustable base, any premium set. Come see us at, at Hank's Fine Furniture. Now, from Fayetteville, high on the hill, this is your Pick Trail Nation report. Sponsored by Crane Automotive Team. Arkansas taking a two-point win over Texas A&M in College Station back at the beginning of January. But since then, the Hogs have lost nine of the last 13 games. And tonight, they will try to turn things around at Bud Walton Arena with a rematch against the Aggies. For a breakdown of the game, here's Mike Irwin. T.J. Starks is another in a long line of SEC guards that has plagued the Razorbacks this season. He scored 23 on them back on January 6th in College Station. He's really dangerous when he can get downshift and get down north and south in that lane and, and find those guys up under the basket or find those guys spotting up. Arkansas is trying to snap a four-game losing streak, but the Aggies are coming along at the wrong time, having won three of their last four. Clearly, these guys need some mojo that has been lacking lately. Confidence is, is, is the biggest thing that, that we got to come out and play with. And so have an opportunity to play at home. Hopefully, um, our guys come out with the energy that you're going to need this time of the year. Mike Anderson is looking for that energy to come from a starting lineup change that he used in the second half in Wednesday's blowout loss to Auburn. Freshman Desi Sills and Keyshawn Embry-Simpson will hopefully trigger a number of improvements, the head coach says. We need some great defense, and we need some uh, get the tempo up and down the floor. Uh, we got to get guys got to do a better job of helping you know, our scores get open. And if the Aggies pack it in around Daniel Gafford, like so many teams have done this season, Anderson says his teammates are going to have to hit shots to loosen up that defense. Mike Irwin for the Pig Trail Nation. Mike, thank you so much. Arkansas hosting Texas A&M tonight. Tip off at 7.30 on SEC Network. The Aggies 4-9 in SEC play. The Razorbacks 5-8. And, and several Razorbacks qualifying to compete for some hardware today at the SEC Indoor Track and Field Championships. Unfortunately, that is not over yet, so we can't show you any video of it. But here's a breakdown of what's been going on so far today. Cameron Griffith, the defending champion in the 3,000, pulls it out for the win and the title. Peyton Chadwick for the women in the 60-meter hurdles wins first place with a time of 8.02 seconds. She would also win silver in the 200 meter as well. Taylor Werner separates herself from the pack in the women's 3,000, taking gold with a time of 9 minutes, 15.57 seconds. Pretty impressive. And over on the pole vault, as per usual, Lexi Jacobus and Tori Hogard win first and second place, respectively. Yet another title for the twins. Some other notables, though, three Razorback women picking up a lot of points in the mile race, going one, two, and three for the sweep. Plus, Kelsey Herman taking gold in the pentathlon. Gabe Moore over on the men winning for the heptathlon. So some great stuff going right on there for the track team. But, you know, we've also got some women's basketball to talk about tonight. They are going to be taking on a team tomorrow Hoping to get back on the right track, Arkansas hosting Ole Miss, looking to turn their season around right now after six straight losses. One good thing is we've we've found new ways to lose. I guess we haven't been making the exact same mistakes, um, so I think that continues to show growth. But I, I think we're continuing to accentuate what we're doing off the court with the film. Um, still trying to play our best basketball in March. Our efficiency numbers are good. Our lineups look good. It's just we're playing teams that are a little further along than us uh, with their programs. The Diamond Hogs getting ready for their final game against USC. The Razorbacks defeating the Trojans in the past two matchups this weekend. Going for a sweep tonight. That game is streaming online at Pac-12+. Plus. First pitch is at 8 p.m. Kelly? All right, thanks, Tara. Well, we're getting closer to the biggest night of the year in Hollywood. Coming up, we take you inside the Oscars for a special preview. And Hollywood's gearing up for a big weekend for the 91st. Friendship Community Care, serving children and adults in Arkansas with disabilities and complex support needs. The pain level was over 10. There's days where I just sat and cried and, and asked the good Lord to take me. And my doctor recommended that I go to Good Feet and try the arch supports. And I took about three, four steps, turned around and went and sat back down and started to cry. It was the first time that I had no pain. I'm not an actor. I want people to know my testimony. I want them to know what art supports can do from Good Feet. See for yourself with a free personalized art support fitting at the Good Feet store. 
with a long list of awards, including a record-setting 33 Car and Driver 10 Bests, everyone knows the Honda Accord is built to be the best. But did you know that Accord is also built right here in America? For 37 years, that's meant millions of Accords, thousands of jobs, and billions of dollars invested all across America. And right now, lease Accord for just $249 a month or 1.9% APR financing for well-qualified buyers. For details, see your Northwest Arkansas and River Valley Honda dealer. Mike was a 19-year-old college student with his entire life ahead of him. His family was shattered when he was fatally injured in a car accident caused by a drunk driver. Mike's family called Cadell Reynolds for help. After conducting a thorough investigation of the accident, we fought and won justice for Mike's family. After an accident, call Cadell Reynolds for help. Call Cadell Reynolds at 800-671-4100. Make the right call. Monday. I'm so excited. Welcome to Team Legend. You're really cute. I think you're cute, John. You're adorable. I have clearly been outcuted. <laughs> <laughs> then it's the premiere of The Enemy Within. I want the names of the four agents who are following, or you'll never see your daughter again. She betrayed her country. I made a choice to save my daughter. Now she wants redemption. You can catch him, but you cannot do it without me. The premiere of The Enemy Within after the premiere of The Voice, Monday on NBC. You're watching KNWA News at 6. Hollywood is gearing up for a big weekend for the 91st Annual Academy Awards. The movie world's top talent is getting together to celebrate the year's best work in film. KNWA's Mark Barger looks ahead. The Academy Awards are always about fashion. But for the past 25 years, they've also been about chowing down afterwards. Everybody comes out so hungry, so we make over 30 dishes. Chef Wolfgang Puck's once again in charge of the food. So we put extra pepper. For the governor's ball reception that follows the Oscars. All together, I had 300 chefs in the kitchen. Trying to hit the sweet spot with newly minted Oscar winners. If you're trolling for nuggets of bitterness, you'll find none here. The wife's Glenn Close could be among them. She's favored for Best Actress after missing out with six previous Oscar nominations. But the first time could be the charm for Bohemian Rhapsody's Rami Malek. His Best Actor rivals include Vice's Christian Bale and A Star Is Born's Bradley Cooper. I do think that is, of all of the acting races, the one that is the toughest to call and the one that seems to be the most wide open. Best Picture is also a big question mark. A cluster of box office hits are contending, but so is Roma. The Netflix film is in Spanish, but has 10 nominations. It seems to be breaking all the rules, but the movie is so strong that it demands to do so. And for a show that's also skipping its traditional host, this year's Oscars could be unlike any other. Mark Parker, NBC News. The Academy Awards tried going without a main host once before. That was back in 1989. It's widely been considered that it was the worst Oscar show ever. It is the first year that Americans can legally place a wager on the glamorous event, hoping to win cash if their pick wins an Academy Award. New Jersey is the only state allowing bets on the Oscars, but if it's a, it's a success, other states could open up this betting pool next year. The expansion away from traditional gambling signals an interest by gaming commissions to pursue a wider consumer base. We'll stick around. We'll check back in with meteorologist Melissa Hall for another look at your forecast after the break. Stay with us. Like the Pig Trail Nation Facebook page today and join the conversation. Today we're here to talk about trucks. I love trucks. Oh, what truck brand comes from the family of the most dependable, longest lasting full size pickups on the road? I think it's the Chevy. Ford. It's not Ford. I think it's Ram. Not Ram either. That's it's Chevy. Chevy. Gorgeous. Current GM owners get a total value of $10,250 on this Silverado when you finance with GM Financial plus one-year Sirius XM all-access package. See your Northwest Arkansas Chevy dealers. In high school, people described me as bright. 
hardworking and dedicated. That I had a big heart because I care about people and doing the right things. Now, everywhere I look, I see an entire community just like that. Learning more, doing more, and caring more. A community of mission, Harding University. This President's Day, experience Acura's ultra-responsive lineup, like the exhilarating MDX, the thrilling TLX, the quick-to-react ILX, or the commanding RDX. Hurry in. These offers won't last long. Visit Acura Fayetteville for attractive offers on the RDX. March could be your lucky month. Indigo Sky Casino is giving away over $500,000 in total cash prizes. Thursdays in March, $40,000 cash will go. Fridays, it's Cash Madness, 6 to 10 p.m. Over $50,000 in total cash prizes will go. Indigo Sky, above the rest because we're the best. Indigo Sky Casino, Highway 60 west of Seneca, Missouri. Well, if your bananas seem like they're a little too ripe to enjoy, don't toss them out yet. Today's actually National Banana Bread Day. Extra ripe bananas give this dessert its signature taste. You can find ready-to-bake box cake recipes for banana bread or get creative and make your own. You can even turn banana bread into muffins or cupcakes. There's plenty of recipes online to get you started. I, this is my guilty pleasure, banana bread. Like, I will make it every day of the week if I could. <laughs> I love banana bread. I have a recipe that's been handed down to me and I find it's the best when you can get those bananas just as black as possible, throw them in the freezer actually, and then when you're ready to make them, pull them out because the sugars break down. And did you, you just said banana bread. I'm a banana nut bread fan. I'm from <laughs> the South. We like pecans, but or pecans. pecans. Your pecans. pecans. We were talking about this earlier. Your pecans, but I'm pecans. If there's anything in banana bread, I only like chocolate chips, nuts, oh. I just can't, I can't do. That I don't is know. good. Some chocolate chips <laughs> and the banana nut bread. That's delicious. How could you not like that? Well, we do have some days on this forecast that'll be good to stay inside and do a little baking because we could see some rain. But tomorrow, you're actually going to want to get out. Now, also, get our NWA Weather Authority app because we still have a wind advisory. Not for everybody. Just northwest Arkansas, the River Valley. You're feeling that wind, but you don't have the advisory to go along with it. Tomorrow, we're going to stay breezy. The bad news is the winds switch directions. They've gotten so warm today, Kelly, into the 60s, but tomorrow they'll be out of the northwest and we'll only get into the 50s, so a little below average on those temperatures. But the good news is a warming trend comes our way until the middle part of the week. Then we I'll have a that. new system that comes in, <laughs> and you're going to go from wearing those sunglasses to grabbing the umbrella again because look at Friday, first day of spring, and we got to have some showers to get those flowers. Got to enjoy these next two days till Tuesday. Okay, let me explain. First day of spring for us meteorologists. <laughs> not Mother Nature, so. <laughs> All right, thanks for joining us for the half hour. We'll see you back here tonight at 10.